Let's talk about buying land here in the upstate. I love talking to people about their ideas for land because they always share with me their unique dreams and vision. Dream houses, farms, barn dominiums, tiny home communities, hunting facilities. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with a piece of land. But that's the important key here. Before you pull the trigger and buy that parcel, you got to make sure you can actually do what you want to do on that piece of property. I, a licensed real estate pro, can help you with this process. So here's a couple tips I have for people. Number one, CCNRs, those are uh, covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Just because it doesn't look like a traditional HOA community doesn't mean you don't have restrictions you have to comply with. You can often find these on the Register of Deed website for the county that you're trying to buy this parcel in. Tip number two is to think about surveys. I would highly recommend anyone who wants to list and sell some land with us, the Bird Dog Group, to get a survey performed so we know exactly what we have to sell. And if you're on the buy side, we can use the GIS mapping websites, again, available with the county website to look up any recent surveys that may be on file, but it's strongly recommended to pay for your own survey so you know exactly what you're getting. Last but not least, utilities, septics, wells. There's a whole host of different combos that can be out there. If you need to put in a septic, you're gonna need a permit and have a perk test performed. If it has an existing septic or well system, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have that inspected. Overall, the important key when buying land is to do your due diligence. Hit the follow button for more tips.